Hey loves, welcome back. Today we're doing a very minimal makeup look and a step-by-step -step skin prep routine that is so easy and you can incorporate this in your regular makeup routine as well. So grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it. The key to any makeup look is always hydration. So I'm gonna go in with my Dalba First Spray Serum for a quick boost. I love this before and after makeup. It's super lightweight and glowy. Make sure you shake it up and I'm gonna pretty much just douse my skin in this. Let that absorb into your skin for a little bit. If you're on the go and you need to speed this process up, I highly recommend one of these little mini fans. You can get this on Amazon. It's so good. I love to use this in the morning too when I'm doing my morning skincare. Another Dalba product I love is this all-in-one multi-balm. It's pretty much like the spray serum but in a balm form. So I'm going to apply this on my under eyes. I have super dry under eyes so I love to use balms because I feel like the hydration lasts so much longer and then my concealer and everything wears so much better throughout the day. You could pretty much put this wherever needed if you have just really dry areas on your face just swipe this across and it is super hydrating if you like the spray you're gonna like this balm as well it's so good and i like to use a moisturizer with spf in it and this one is really good it's the notorium spf 50 dew glow moisturizer i just bought a brand new one of these i've gone through so many of these and now they have notorium at ulta which is nice because it used to only be at target but such a good spf that you can use under makeup it's not too much but it does give you a glow, but it wears nicely under other products. I did my skincare this morning, but this is kind of just a refresh of it, basically, in a more simplified version. Also, I like to kind of avoid doing too many products on my eyebrows, because then the brow products won't stick as well, so try to avoid that area. I also don't like to use SPF on my under eyes. That's why I put that under eye balm there because I want that hydration. But if you put SPF around your under eyes, it's going to burn your eyes throughout the day. It happened to me so many times before. I'll put it like around this area and then the SPF starts going in my eyes and it just burns and irritates them all day. So note to self and note to you, don't do that. I like this SPF too because it just doesn't leave a white cast. Like you can just see it's very fast absorbing but it's so pretty and glowy. Clearly, I love glowy, hydrated skin, but now you're all ready for makeup. Everything is gonna apply so much better over top because no matter how simple your makeup look is, you don't wanna apply products over dry skin. You need a little something, even if it's just a little quick spray. Just do something to boost your skin up. Last but not least, for skin prep, a little lip oil. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. lip oil. This one is in Rose Envy. It's pretty much like a Your Lips But Better shade. It makes your lips super juicy not sticky so now we can get into the makeup so i'm gonna just wipe away any extra product that might be around my brows so that those products stick so much better to my skin and they're not sliding all around we're gonna kick it back a little old school today with the anastasia brow wiz i'm just pretty much using up brow products that i already own and this was in the back of my drawer and i actually really like this and this one is in the shade dark brown so even when i do a really simple makeup look i like to do my brows because it pretty much frames the face so i'm just gonna outline starting on the bottom I flick out the tail a little bit more than my natural brow tail, but not too much, just to elongate it. And then I go up top, and I'm gonna just do this really lightly. I'm just feathering the product in. And then I'm also gonna spoolie through as I go to distribute the product evenly across all of my brow hairs. Then with that same pencil, I just really lightly kind of feather in the product doing really tiny strokes to mimic brow hairs and I'm going in the direction of my brows naturally just to the right I don't like to do too much to my brows or make them too bold because then the other makeup is so light I feel like they just look really harsh and honestly sometimes they do anyway but I'm just trying to like I said just be really light-handed with the product because it does make a difference and then if you do go a little bit too harsh on your brows, you can just spoolie through it and it kind of just diffuses it out and makes it look a little bit softer. 
I will never not clean up my brows. You guys know this is just a part of my life at this point. I will forever do this. So I'm going to just use a flat little concealer brush and I'm going to take some concealer. Typically I use a foundation stick. I really like this one from Huda. You know what? Let me just use this because I was going to say you could also just use the concealer that you're using for the day, but I feel like most people aren't really cleaning up their brows, but even though I highly recommend it, even if you have amazing brows, just take a little bit of a concealer and just go right underneath and it just truly cleans them up and makes them look more polished and just better. So this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Stick and I love it because it's super creamy. It's a little bit thicker, so it just is perfect for carving out the brows then i've just been using because i've been doing this look a ton just my little concealer brush on my it cosmetics complexion brush the bottom of it i just use that to blend that in and just like that the foundation is super creamy it doesn't get cakey so i really like it because you see look at that brow compared to this one it's such a minor difference but it just really helps to make it look as if you basically just got your brows done. Now I'm going to go ahead and fluff up my brows with the brow glue from Ardell. This is incredible. It gives so much hold with no residue. I think I like this more than my high-end brow gels. The key with this is though, once you apply it, you want to start fluffing your brows up immediately because it dries pretty quick. And once it dries... The, your brows are not going anywhere. You cannot move them at all. It's like hairspray. So what I like to do is just apply this... To my entire brow, I will just coat it with the product. You can get this at Walmart, by the way. It's under $10, and I just bought three backups because when I love a brow product, I just cannot get enough. It also comes with this little tool, and what you want to do is just take that flat part of the tool and just start fluffing up your brows as you please. I like to also just use a... This is the Rare Beauty Brow Gel, but I'm just using it mostly for the spoolie just to kind of like fluff my brows and kind of set them into place just how I want. I want a little fluffiness, but then I also kind of like fluff them up and then to the side so they don't look electrocuted. So I go back and forth between the little spatula and my spoolie. And then I take my finger and just press it down a little bit and that is it. Your brows are going to be held in place all day. I'm telling you it's so good what i like to do sometimes too is i'll even take a wipe and kind of just like clean up around so that they don't look too straight up you know what i mean so you really just have to kind of play around with your hairs to get them exactly how you want but like i said you have to work kind of quick because the brow glue it's literally brow glue and honestly sometimes they look better than others but the key i think is just when you fluff them up also fluff them to the side a little bit as well so up and over now let's go ahead and conceal with the triclone skin tech concealer from house labs this one is in shade 24. so whenever you're doing this makeup look i recommend using a concealer that is pretty much the same exact color of your skin if not pretty close you don't want anything that's going to be too bright because it's just going to draw a lot of attention to those areas and we want to just keep everything nice and neutral and seamless and conceal without it looking too much this is a really great shade i love the undertones of house labs but you're pretty much going to just put this wherever you want i like to do my under eyes because I have some darkness. I'm also going to cover up any blemishes that I have, which is for me right there. We have a pimple. I have a little bit of scarring above my lip. I have a little nick up here from when I was shaving my face. So I kind of just look for little things that I want concealed. And I got little scars under my chin right here. Super creamy. This has a whipped consistency, but it just gives really beautiful coverage and I love the way this wears throughout the day I'm also using a fluffier concealer brush. This one is from BK Beauty the N14 I'm using something a little bit more fluffy that way It just gives a really soft diffused look, but it's gonna keep that coverage in there If you use a sponge, it can look really splotchy and it's gonna take away the coverage of your concealer So a fluffy brush that still has some density to it is perfect for this kind of look. You see how it just concealed everything, but it still looks like my skin. A really good concealer that I also love for this is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. 
And since we have that skincare underneath, everything just blends a lot better. It doesn't have to really be honestly super perfect also because that's kind of the point of this makeup look. You're supposed to just look a little bit more refreshed and polished, but still, you know, natural-esque. This is one of my favorite concealer formulas of all time. It's incredible. Now I'm gonna add some cream blush just to warm up the skin and bring a little bit of color back. And I know that I've been using these a ton, but I cannot get enough of these road blushes. I have not been more excited about a blush. Honestly, I cannot stop using them. This one is in the color Freckle. I love to use these on the lips. This color is just fabulous because it's a very pretty, neutral, warm peach. It's like a neutral peach. It's not too much, but I'm just gonna do about that much. Maybe a little bit more. They're super just creamy and rich. They give a really good amount of pigment. I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics Heavenly Lux Complexion Brush and I'm just gonna press that into the skin. I'm gonna bring it up towards my temple just a little bit. Now, one of my favorites for this look is the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Powder. This is really good because it's so natural and lightweight. It's not too powdery. It's not too matte. It's not going to add any coverage to your skin. It's just going to truly set your creams down in a really pretty way. Another powder I love for this, if you have more dry skin and you don't want something that's matte, but again, it's not too matte. It has more of a natural finish, but... Kosas Cloud Set Powder. This is also incredible because it's gonna set your creams down but still give you that really gorgeous glow. So this is another really pretty option that I like for this look as well. But we're gonna go with LIS today. And for this, I'm gonna apply it with a little powder puff. I got these from Sonia Kashuk at Target. I'm gonna scrape the edges of this powder, literally. It's so good. This makeup look is so easy, you cannot mess it up. Anybody can do it, it's quick. And I'm going to just take that and you definitely want to set that concealer down, especially on the under eyes. Because if you're like me and you get a lot of little creases, it's okay. They're normal. It happens. But you, we don't want an excess amount of them. So setting is key. And that's why I love the concealer combo that I did with the Dalba Balm. Because it's just going to look really smooth or as smooth as possible all day long, but still keeping that coverage. I'm pretty much going to set wherever I put the concealer. And by the way, this powder, the color is in Resilience, which is just the translucent shade. So there's no color. It's truly just setting everything down. So I'm also, even though I don't have any makeup really on my forehead too much, I'm still going to add a little bit of powder just to combat some of that shine. Now this is the time where we're going to add a little bit more blush. You could do more pocket blush if you have very dry skin. This is a really creamy hydrating formula. But for me, I'm going to go in with the classic Milani Baked Blushes. I will forever love these. I've been using them for well over 10, 11 years, like probably since I first started getting into makeup. And this one is actually the color Berry Amour. It's a gorgeous baked blush, so it's gonna give you some color, some glow, and just bring your cheeks back to life. And blush just does that in general. It really just takes it there and makes you look more healthy and alive. So I'm just adding that right over top of that freckle shade. It's honestly a really good complimentary color. I'm adding a touch of powder bronzer with a Juvia's Place bronzer. This one's in the shade medium. I'm going to just do like a little bit of this color right here just because we have a lot of blush. I mean, you could always tone it down, but I kind of just want a little touch of warmth right in this area as well. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and do a really light layer of mascara. Sometimes I honestly will just curl my lashes and not do any mascara if I don't feel like washing it off at the end of the day because, you know, sometimes it gets like that. But I'm going to use my Haley's Beauty Lash Curler and the key is heating up your lash curler. It's going to make the curl last so much longer throughout the day. So let me do that right now. Now let it cool off for a few seconds. Don't just go applying this to your eyes because then you're going to burn yourself just wait a little bit, a few seconds, and then start curling away. Look at the difference just with curling your lashes, how much that makes a difference. So if you wanted to, you could just leave it as is, or you could do a really light layer of mascara. I'm going to do this twice. With the heat, I think it really just helps to keep your lashes nice and perked up. I think a good lash curler does make a difference as well. I do really love this one and my Tweezer Man lash curler. They're like the two that I've been using. Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara. This is the Reveal Lash Lengthening Mascara, also from Haley's Beauty. You can get this on Amazon. I really like this one too because it has that thin wand. It doesn't clump, it doesn't flake, and if you have straight lashes, you're gonna like this formula because it's very lightweight and lengthening. It kind of just enhances my natural lashes in the best way. If it gets on your eyelids, literally who cares just wait for it to dry and it'll flake away just like that now with this look i try not to do too much because of course we're going for like very minimal simple vibes so that's why again i like this formula because it pretty much looks as if like i just got lash extensions in or something or like i kind of just woke up with amazing beautiful long lashes wiping away any extra lip oil because i'm going to do lip liner and that's another thing kind of like with brows you want to wipe away any lip balm that you have before you do your lip combo that way it lasts so much longer it just gives the lip product a little bit more grip you know so that it's not sliding all over so just wipe away any lip oil but the lips feel super soft that's why i love those ones from elf because they really do hydrate and the lip liner of the day is Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Taupe. This is one of my favorites. With this look, I really like to do something that's just really neutral, not too much. You could even do something that's more closer to your lip color if you want to just give them a little, a little extra definition. A good lip combo is just it. Even with minimal makeup, I remember growing up, my mom... And all of my tias, if they didn't have any makeup on, they would always have their lip combo on, if anything. So good lip combo is just always the way. And I love this one because it's a really actually long wearing formula. Just clean it up a little bit. Just adding a little bit more powder to that area. That's why I love this powder puff because I feel like it really does a nice job at concentrating the product a little bit more precisely. And now we're going to go back in with the e.l.f. lip oil again in Rose Envy. This is just a little extra step that I've been doing. Tight lining my upper lash line with brown liner. I'm using Makeup by Mario Perfect Brown. Just to kind of make the root of your lashes a little bit thicker. And it makes your lashes, I feel like, just look a little bit better. See? Very small, minor detail. So this is the makeup look that I have been loving whenever I want to just go out the door, do something quick and easy, feel more alive, refreshed, and polished. And for me, this is a big deal because I'm definitely a go hard or go home kind of gal. I love my full glam and all the layers of makeup, but sometimes we don't have time for all that. Or... You just don't want to do it, but you want to just give yourself a little refresh. The longest part about this for me is my brows, but today was actually a good brow day and whenever the brows go good, everything else is super quick. So this is the look I love whenever I just want to look like I slept a good seven, eight hours, even if I didn't. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have all the products linked down below in the description box if you're interested. Make sure to subscribe for new videos every week and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.